Well, hello folks. Uh, Heather and I did a few things today, as always. <laughs> Anyways, I ran those wires this morning while Heather was doing some other stuff. That is our, that's a 312 wire. That's gonna run over to this light here, and then it's going to run up to another light switch at the top of the stairs, so we'll have a three-way switch in here to operate these bottom lights in the basement. I didn't get that light hooked up yet. I did get the three I seen yesterday, but we are off to replenish our little wood pile here. We're heading into our wood lot. Heather's out there waiting for me. She's waving all smiley. <laughs> I bet she can't start her machine. Get your machine running. Will it not run? I was waiting for you. Oh, you can fire it up and let it warm. Turn the heater on. <laughs> can you warm up mine too? Turn the heater on. I'll try. Okay. I bet it won't work. Make sure the windows are up. <laughs> well, we're on our way in, folks. Oh, that fogged her up, didn't it? See these tracks, Heather, on the ground? You know what they're from? Those? Yeah. These big footy tracks with all the fur around it. That would be either lynx or bobcat, I'm assuming. Lynx. We don't have too many bobcats here. Oh, sorry, not bob. Uh, yeah, I meant to say uh, cougar. Yeah, no, that's a lynx. Cougar, I think, has a little smaller foot. This is definitely a lynx, I'm pretty sure, with that big paw print. That is the size of my hand, and that is the size of that print. I'm guessing that's a, a lynx track. He's checking out our trails. He's probably making use of those fat little partridges we fed this year. <laughs> exactly. It's like, thanks, corn fed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Corn fed bird. <laughs> We're gonna continue on, folks. All right, folks, well, we made it in with no problem. There's a bit of a crust on that snow. It's hard going because of that rain we had in a little mild spell. A little out of breath, Heather and I, we just dropped one tree. I bucked it up, she tossed it into a pile. It wasn't a full tree, it was just a little part of a tree, but still. And then I dropped this dead one here that the saw is sitting on. I'm using the gasoline saw for a little bit. I don't want to wear out my little electric one. I really like that in the summer. In the winter, I'm worried about the plastic getting brittle. We did lose it off the snowmill one day and I almost broke it and it got me nervous. So I really like that little saw. That's why I'm using the gasoline one right now. I think this gasoline one is faster than the battery one too. But the problem is it costs way more to run it. That's the thing I don't like. I like the battery saw because it's just about free to operate other than the chain oil. And it even goes through less chain oil than a gasoline saw because the oil only pumps out when it's when the chain's turning. Where some of the older ones, it pumped oil out whether the engine was running or cutting it, as even when it was idling. But the new ones are different now, I think. They only pump oil out when the chain's spinning. But uh, anyways, I don't mind a, a gas one. I, not my favorite. I find they're too loud and, and expensive and stinky. but. Here's where we're gonna cut this up. I'm gonna cut this up and then I, we're gonna bring up the snowmobiles. We're gonna load these and get home. It is cool in here. I think it's about minus 20 degrees Celsius I in think here so, right yeah. now. Which is cool enough, but I am sweating up a storm from moving around in this snow. It's already up past my knees in here. So we're starting to get a bit. Yeah. <laughs> 